The first part of this video on Myad BC Gradebook is just going to cover uh, the preferences for the gradebook. So to set preferences, you always go up to this section here in the top right corner and click. And then you're going to click the gradebook tab. So I've got mine mostly set up here already. But um, the first uh, line is uh, shade alternate lines. So that's so that uh, your spreadsheet is going to shade every second line so that it's easier to read. So I've got that checked. Track administrator updates. So if uh, the clerk has changed any information on the student, there will be an um, indication that there's been a change. Tab direction. So when you press the tab key, Will it go across? Will it go down? Um, it's probably best to just leave it at a cross. Show studies. I don't believe that section is available anyways for us, so um, we don't need to check that off. And enable gradebook features. Make sure that this is checked off, otherwise your gradebook won't work. Um, assignment column order. Um, if you have it listed as ascending, it displays the old assignments at the left. So um, what you'll see on your screen is the names on the far left and then the oldest assignments um, right next to it. So um, I prefer actually seeing um, descending, so the most recent assignments closest to the name so that it's easier to read what the most recent things are because as you go through um, the older assignments will get pushed to the right and um, and uh, further away from the name. Uh, Alright, show points in headers. So if you want to be able to see how much the assignment is worth in the header you can check that off if you'd like. Um, show category names in the header and this is uh, just going to be a short code um, that you create for each assignment. So each assignment will have a um, just a short form version of the name of the assignment. So if it was in a, a homework assignment and it was called homework assignment one, it would just be maybe HW1. So it's a good idea to have that checked off. Uh, published assignment statistics and I believe that is um, as as it pertains to the student parent portal. So uh, we don't have access to that yet, but if it was checked, it displays the highest, lowest, and mean scores. Um, however, I don't know if we're allowed to do that and whether or not the district's going to be uh, letting us do that anyway. So um, best to just uh, leave it checked off. Um, so I'm going to uncheck that. And uh, show student alerts, that's to see uh, student alerts beside the student names listed on your gradebook, um, which may or may not uh, be useful for your gradebook. And show uh, course selection recommendation. I'm not sure what this is going to show, but it does suggest in the notes that I have to uncheck this while you're um, entering in grades. You can always go back and, and check it again and see um, but apparently it shows course selection recommendations for students um, for the upcoming years. Um, anchor averages apparently show uh, the average, the running average for the student um, just to the right of the student's name. So it's a column that shows up. Uh, so I'm going to check that just to see what uh, shows up. And um, missing assignment column. This is a, a missing um, a column showing all the missing assignments for the student, and um, you can create special missing assignment codes for um, for your students, and um, those can, uh, will show up in the column. Now, if you want to count an empty assignment as missing, um, you can do that as well and uh, so anything that just doesn't have an entry at all uh, will will count against the student 
However, um, that's as soon as you create the assignment. So if you haven't marked it yet, then it, it will automatically uh, count against the student. So um, you might want to just leave this unchecked until the very end of the semester, and then you can check it. Um, <clears throat> and then show unscored will, um, it, it has to do with the rubric ratings in my EdBC, which um, I don't believe are set up yet anyways. So um, can leave it uh, uh, checked or unchecked. It probably doesn't matter at this point. The most important section in this uh, setting preferences is the default weighting. And I've looked at all the uh, different types of weighting that are available. So there's categories only, categories assignments, totals points, and category total points. And if you're familiar with the way that we uh, did weighting in Intergrade, uh, that's the same as category total points. And that's what I would prefer to use. I think it uh, makes things a little bit more fair. Uh, category total points allows for you to have different assignments in the same category weighted differently because um, one assignment may be larger than the other. So say you have uh, two homework assignments, one's out of 25, one's only out of 10. Uh, the one that's out of 25 will, ha will, will count for more of that particular category's weight than the one out of 10. So it does make it uh, flexible for the teacher to assign different points to different assignments or tests and still um, allow that that particular category is limited to a certain percentage weighting. Um, so I think most of you will probably be happy with the category total points, especially if you're comfortable with the weighting that's done. And I believe it's also done like this in Schoology as well as Intergrade and N-Grade. So uh, I would just stick to category total points. Uh, you don't want to worry about decimals because uh, we don't have decimals in um, showing up on our report cards. And the grade scale, um, I've got final marks here, but provincial interim marks, you might want to check that off, I suppose, if you have a linear course that is, um, that uh, you don't have a f have final marks, or if it's, if it's during the term, even for a semester course, you probably would want um, provincial mark scale for interim marks. This allows for the I's. Uh, instead of an F. So just check that off. And semester cumulative average, that will just show the student's uh, semester, some, uh, semester cumulative average and students and uh, when the parent portal is open, st uh, students and parents will be able to see that average. And the cumulative average uh, shows an overall course cumulative mark calculation.